Stop worrying about Sheridan. Hank will take care of her. Luis, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be guarding Sheridan? No, I just came in to finish up some paperwork. Hank's over at Sheridan's cottage. Watch now for it till I get back. Ethan Craig. Why are you shredding his file? More importantly, what are you doing with the file of Ethan Craig? Ethan was born prematurely. Ethan is not my son. Uh, well, you knew I was uh, doing some research on uh, Ethan in case he tried to have me fired for the prom boat seeking. Right? Turned out to be a waste of time. There's nothing in Ethan's past of interest to me. You well, know, that crank kid can still be a bastard sometimes, can't he? Yeah, I can't argue with that. Yeah, but what do you expect? You have Julian for a father and Ivy for a mother. The cranes stop at nothing until they get what they want. The cranes think they have a right to whatever they want. And they'll do whatever it takes to get it. Yeah, well, you're preaching to the choir, Sam. I don't know how or why, but somehow my father got in their way. Cranes got rid of him. One day I'll find out what happened. But I don't trust him any more than you do. Not even Sheridan? Well, she can be damn stubborn at times. So can we all. But she's basically a good kid. So is Ethan. He's not as evil as Julian or Alistair. Just a little mixed up at times. What about Ivy? She's only a crane by marriage. Uh, Ivy might have been a totally different person if she hadn't married Julian. But she did. And at best, I think she's just a lost soul searching for something that she'll never find. But spending all those years being married to a crane, I think she's turned into one. There's no telling what she could do. Is there a chance of you and Sheridan ending up together? Excuse me? <laughs> Say you wipe the slate clean and start over. I mean, forget about all the fights that you've had, Julian's bribes and threats, and the fact that she's a crane. Could you see yourself with Sheridan? Well, I'll be honest with you, Sam. Sheridan's a beautiful woman, inside and out. And there's times, <laughs> even when we're fighting, that... I look at her and think that there's a way that she's the one. And when I'm alone by myself, you know, I, I start wondering that, you know, what our lives would be like. <laughs> it's great. And it's incredible. But, you know, it's, it's, it's all just a dream. There's no way that'll ever happen. You know, even though she's way different from the rest of her family, she's still a crane. And I cannot shut my eyes to who she really is. Yeah, I hear you. No matter how you try to get around it, the dark side of that family rears its ugly head. <laughs> I'll tell you, though. If she wasn't a crane, I would run after her. I would catch her. I wouldn't let her go. But that's just wishful thinking. If she is a crane, she always will be. I mean, hell, she even lives in the cottage. It used to be my family's home. You know, it's, it's as if every time I want to be close to her and, and be with her, the past just destroys any connection that's between us. When you're done protecting her, you got to make a clean break. you got to put Sheridan and your feelings for her behind you. Maybe I should put it in writing so it's clear to both Sheridan and me that it's really over between us. You know? That might be the only way. Sheridan! Hank! Huh. Must be in the kitchen. Hello? Right in there. 
Must be in the bedroom. Hey, you guys in there? 